dramatic symbol of the busy world in which we live. Office buildings, manufacturing plants, and the people who make them run. It's a world geared to satisfying human wants, your wants, mine, and the next fellow's. For what we do and how we get along in the world is determined largely by what we need, what we desire, and what we obtain. Each of us, as an individual, seeks his own private goal. The basis of it all, perhaps, is the vocation that we choose to follow. For to reach our goal, we must decide what job, what career we want to follow. What job or career do you choose? As a representative of the American Paper and Pulp Association, I'd like to invite you to learn about one of America's great industries and the future it may hold for you. Graduation Day, probably the most important day in your life, for it places you at the crossroads of a busy world. What does the future hold in store? It's a big decision, and for the most part, it's up to you. The first step is to select the exact field which you'd like to enter, a field which offers you great opportunity and makes best use of your special knowledge. These days, a sizable number of college students and graduates are learning about their futures in the paper industry. Indoors or outdoors, from forest to final distribution, there's a wide variety of important jobs, jobs that are interesting and satisfying. But first, let's take a look at today's pulp and paper industry. Do you realize that almost 400 pounds of paper and paperboard are consumed annually for every man, woman, and child in the United States? It takes a huge industry to supply such a demand. Paper is a huge industry. Perhaps you'll be surprised to learn that pulp and paper ranks fifth among manufacturing industries in America. In a recent 15-year period, the value of paper products consumed increased more than four times, and it's still growing, up and up each year. Yes, the paper industry is a progressive one, any of a number of ways you look at it. Whether you consider gross annual sales, total capital invested, cost of raw materials purchased, total consumption of power, or the quantity of products purchased from other industries. And what about the number of people working in the paper industry? If foresters, loggers, transportation employees, and other woodland workers are included, the total is well over one half million. Over half this number are engaged in the primary pulp and paper industry. The industry payroll is huge about three and one half billion dollars annually. The paper industry is a dependable and stable industry. Employment is exceptionally steady on both long-term and seasonal bases. And even during the 10 years after the 1929 depression, pulp and paper output increased more than 25%. The importance of paper is apparent. Countless items, either made of paper or wrapped in paper, are necessities of our everyday life. Wallpaper, writing paper, rugged wrapping paper, paper for every use, newspapers with up-to-the-minute events. And yet, it's easy, very easy, to take paper for granted. Yes, today's world is full of paper, but this wasn't always true. 
Early man recorded his thoughts by scratching marks in solid material. Then came the clay tablet, a great improvement in writing material. Later, the Egyptians began to use papyrus, the material which gave its name to our paper. It was not until shortly after the death of Christ, however, that the all-important invention of papermaking came. In China, Tsai Lun announced to his emperor that by mashing fibers of mulberry bark and hemp, pressing and drying the mixture, he had produced paper. For more than 400 years, the art of papermaking remained a well-kept Chinese secret. In 610 AD, the secret became known in Japan and spread throughout Asia, then to Spain in 1151, to England about the time Columbus discovered America, and to the rest of Europe. Finally, it reached the United States in 1690, with the establishment of the first mill by William Rittenhouse near Philadelphia. The process of printing with movable type, invented by Johannes Gutenberg in the 15th century, speeded up papermaking efforts as its popularity grew. No longer did manuscripts have to be copied laboriously by hand. The Revolutionary War brought a change. It soon became obvious that paper was essential to the prosecution of the war, so new mills were established to meet the needs. By 1800, there were nearly 100 mills in the country, small though their output was. Paper continued to be handmade until about 1800, when the Fordrenier machine and the cylinder machine were invented. These machines boosted production, forced prices down, and the modern history of paper had begun. Today, there are six major fields in the industry. First, the one which produces the raw materials. Second, the pulp mills. Third, the paper mills. Fourth, the converters, those who transform paper into usable products. Fifth, the graphic arts field. And sixth, and finally, research. First, let's consider pulp wood. Approximately 90% of paper manufactured in America is now made wholly or in part from it. Millions of acres of forest land are the source of supply. Managed forests, supervised by technically trained foresters for scientific growing and harvesting, assure the raw material for this vast and growing industry. Today, the industry is operated with scientific precision, from forest to final product. Every step in the growing and manufacturing process is carefully supervised. Here, with the pulpwood log starts a long, extensive process that has been developed and refined through the years by the industry's progressive experts. First, the bark is removed, then out of the revolving drums and on into the hungry chippers, high-speed machines that reduce the logs to millions of small chips in a fraction of a minute. Yes, paper is an industry of modern mechanical marvels, big, precise machines, operated by men who know their jobs and enjoy doing them. It's an industry that invests in people, interesting, energetic people you'd be proud to call fellow workers. It's an industry geared to supplying our growing nation with a continuing flow of paper and paper products, thanks to the constructive investment of hundreds of millions of dollars. The very size of this huge investment helps guarantee pulp and paper industry employees a bright future, opportunity for advancement, high salary levels, and the assurance of job security. Yes, each step in the papermaking process fits into the total production picture like a piece in a gigantic jigsaw puzzle. It's an industry of know-how, an industry that calls for trained specialists, experts in science and management, in purchasing and selling, all the way along the line, from pulp wood to paper products and beyond, paper is a bright horizon of unlimited opportunity. In exchange for your genuine enthusiasm and desire to learn, you can become a part of this great dynamic industry that supplies the final answer to so many of man's wants. For example, take boxes. 
the world needs boxes for a million uses and the paper industry keeps an endless supply ready to meet the demand. Yes, paper's uses are infinite. It provides rugged, inexpensive, weatherproof protection. Bags for the nation's groceries. Paper protects the freshly cleaned suit. Eye-catching labels help us identify products, make it easy to select favorite brands. And from batteries of high-speed presses come the additions that bring the news. All made possible by the paper industry's high-quality newsprint. Actually, more than a million and a half tons a year in this country alone. This modern publishing miracle means a well-informed public and a stronger nation. Research in laboratories like this is the key to the industry's continuing progress. Here, new and better methods are developed for this industry that's always trying to improve itself. Skilled technicians using the most modern equipment record their data and are ever alert for clues to improve techniques. Quality is studied intensively in the search to discover paper with properties that will meet constantly changing requirements. Today, paper chemists receive specialized training in pulp and paper courses at various colleges throughout the country in order to maintain the industry's increasingly rigid standards of quality. Day after day, the researchers are at work in laboratories throughout the nation, testing new theories and developing the new ideas that will meet tomorrow's expanding demand for paper products. The living standards and progress of a nation, it has been said, can be measured by the amount of paper that it uses. To further indicate the bright future of paper, many new uses are now being found for former waste products. Yes, business just can't be done without paper. Your assurance the industry will continue to grow. Pulp producing areas and pulp mills are widely distributed throughout the United States today. That means steady employment over a large part of the nation. Pulp and paper enjoy a unique position among American industries in regard to community relations. In addition to being of ideal size, many of the towns are model communities, charming and impressive. Thirty-eight states have pulp or paper mills, offering a wide range of locations from which to choose. Where would you like to live? Ideally, Mills are located near a source of pure water and a supply of timber. Do you like good hunting? Recreation for everyone. Real enjoyment in the warm summer sun. Good fishing, too made better by the paper industry's stream improvement program. Here's recreation that's really fun. In the matter of employee relations, the pulp and paper industry ranks high. Stability of employment, perhaps, is one of the most important reasons. Another reason is the heavy capital investment which the industry has made per employee. Many plants and mills are large, employing over a thousand people. Others are small permitting closer contact. Which do you prefer? Both offer opportunities. The steady stream of payroll and investment money brought to paper-making communities by the industry helps to make them progressive communities. Flexibility is still another attribute of the paper industry. During World War II, hundreds of heavy, power-driven, multiple-gun anti-aircraft turrets were produced each month by, yes, you guessed it, a paper company. If you're a young man with imagination, ambition, and energy, the paper industry offers you opportunity for the fullest development of your capabilities. Men of a great variety of skills are required to assure continuous high-quality production. Which paper industry career appeals to you most? Which one best suits your qualifications and aptitudes? Let's look at some of them. 
These are the positions most commonly found in the pulp, paper, paperboard, and converting companies in the United States, for which higher education is necessary or desirable. Forestry. Today, more than 2,500 college-trained foresters supervise land purchases and logging operations and are responsible for the efficient handling of wood to the mill. Foresters scientifically manage the vast areas of company and privately owned lands, growing raw material for the future. Engineering. There is practically unlimited opportunity for engineers in the industry. Engineers for construction and maintenance, design and development of equipment, power plant engineering, industrial engineering, and process development. The personnel field of the pulp and paper industry is another offering wide opportunity. There are good jobs in employee services, employee training, employment, labor relations, plant or mill supervision, wage and hours administration, and office management. Research, as we've seen, plays a vital role in the success of the pulp and paper industry. Jobs may be had in chemical research, physical research, wood technology, timberlands management, forestry, and biological research. Law has its place in paper, too. Outstanding opportunities await skilled attorneys in the pulp and paper industry. Special legal fields include corporation law, patent law, real estate law, and tax law. Experienced purchasing personnel are needed too. Specialists in the purchasing of equipment and raw materials. Important also to the success of the industry are its financial specialists. There are good finance jobs in auditing, budgetary control, cost accounting, credit and collection, general accounting, and plant and mill accounting. Manufacturing skills are in demand. Laying out a plant, for example, is always an important job. Models are used to study more efficient control methods. Or you may be interested in quality control, time and motion study, traffic, product development, and industrial engineering. Promotion of the company's products and goodwill is the responsibility of sales and advertising personnel. With the proper qualifications, you'll find a good job in advertising, community relations, public relations, marketing research and statistics, sales promotion and planning, export sales or field selling. There you have them, the major fields in the pulp and paper industry offering opportunity unlimited. Forestry, engineering, personnel, research, law, purchasing, finance, manufacturing, traffic management, sales and advertising. Do you want to learn more about your future in the paper industry? There are several ways to do it. One way is to write to a mill near you. Or better yet, visit a paper mill. Check the opportunities firsthand. See for yourself where your interests can best be applied. Or if you wish, you may write to any of a dozen or more technical schools which offer specialized training in the scientific phases of the industry. But be sure to get a copy of this free booklet now. Write any paper mill, any of these technical schools, or address American Paper and Pulp Association, 122 East 42nd Street, New York 17, New York. Yes, paper is an industry with a great future. Growth estimates vary, but everyone is pretty much agreed that this growth will be tremendous. 
Plan now for your career in paper. The industry of opportunity. The decision is up to you.